Welcome to Edupedia World Grade 10 Computer Science Video Lecture Series. Hi, I'm Upeka Vandibona and from this episode we are going to discuss about Binary Numbering System. You are already aware that the computer we use is basically a digital computer. In digital computers, all the information and data are stored in the form of only zeros and ones because it can only understand zeros and ones. So each and every information we are being supplied in the form of high level language are translated and stored in the form of zeros and ones. This is the idea given by John von Neumann. So in order to use a number system which will be understandable to the computer, the number should constitute only of zeros and ones. This number system is known as binary number system. Now what the meaning of binary? By means two. So all binary numbers consist of a set of zeros and ones and no other digits. The binary digits are popularly known as bits. A bit represents the basic unit of information in digital computers. So in this section, the second section of our course, the data representation, here we are studying how the binary number system and other number systems like octal and hexadecimals behave. Normally for day-to-day -day usage, we use decimal number system. It have 10 digits and starting from 0 to 9. Before moving on to binary number system, let's brief decimal number system. Consider that you are sitting in a car and the car is moving at high speed. Also assume that the initial reading of the milometer was 0000. Now as the car moves, the reading will be changing from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4 and so on. This happens as the counter of the meter has wheels which are marked from 0 to 9 sequentially as shown in this image. So after completion of each kilometer travel the reading will be incremented by 1. So this process is gone like this. The rightmost digit change after completion of each kilometer travel like 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and after that the reading will be again 0 and at that moment the immediate left digit change from 0 to 1 as shown in here and then again the reading will be changing from 1, 1 to 1, 2, 1, 2 to 1, 3, 1, 3 to 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6 and so on until 1, 9 and then the next reading will be 20. The rightmost digit has again turned to 0 from 9 and sequentially the immediate left digit has been turned to 2 from 1 as shown in this image. So we see that when the right hand digit changes in the increasing order like 0, 1, 2, 3 to the 9, the left hand digit doesn't change. But if the right hand digit changes from highest to the lowest value like 9 to 0, the left hand digit changes accordingly from 1, 9 to 2, 0, to 3, 0 and so on. So this is the basic logic of this number system. Now consider that we are replacing the wheels of the milometer. Only 0 and 1 is marked in the wheels. So the wheels must show either a 0 or 1 as there are no other digits. Only the combinations of zeros and 1s will appear on the milometer as shown in this image. Now let us discuss how these numbers will be developed. At the very initial stage, let's assume that the reading was 0000. zero, zero, zero. Then after finishing 1 kilometer, the rightmost digit will be turned from 0 to 1 and hence the reading will be 0001. Here the left hand side digit will remain as it is while the value of the rightmost digit will change in increasing order from 0 to 1. But after traveling 1 kilometer further, the rightmost digit has no other alternative but to change from 1 to 0 and hence 
it is decreasing now. So the immediate left hand side digit will be changed from 0 to 1. But as this is in the increasing order, it will not defect the next left hand side digit. Thus it will show the value 0010. Similarly, after moving another kilometer, again the right hand digit will be changed from 0 to 1. And as it is increasing, it will not defect to the next left hand side digit. Thus it will show the value 0011 as the reading. But after completion of the next kilometer of travel, the rightmost digit will again be changed from 1 to 0. Now as it is in the decreasing order, the left hand digit will also be changed. So it will be changed from 1 to 0. As this is changing in decreasing order, the next digit on the left hand side will be changed from 0 to 1. Now as this changes remains in increasing order, it will not cause the other left hand digits to change and thus in this state the reading will be 0100. If we proceed in this way, we can get a list of numbers consisting of only zeros and ones until we reach the number 1111. That will be the reading of the milometer after completion of 15 kilometers of travel. Now consider what will be the next reading after 16th kilometer of travel. It will be 0000. If we use a 4 digit milometer as in this present case, but if we use a 5 digit milometer, it will be like 10000. So that's how the binary number system behaves. If you could remember when you were a kid, how you try to learn counting numbers. You used your 10 fingers on the hands. So this is like having 2 fingers in the hand to count numbers. Actually, there are a lot more things that we have to discuss about binary number systems, but this is not the time. Here we only touched down the basics. What I want to show you is there is no magic in the binary number systems. It has the same concept like as in the decimal number systems that we commonly used. And with that, we are going to end up this session. From the next lecture, we will look on the other numbering systems, the octal numbering system and the hexadecimal numbering system. And also, we will try to do conversions among them. Thank you for watching and stay tuned on with Edupedia World.